Bread Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to highlight two small but maybe significant changes for some users that Microsoft is busy working on in Edge Canary and also possibly the other preview versions like the dev and beta channels. Now the first unfortunately I haven't received yet uh, in my region, it is on a controlled rollout, but nonetheless just heading over to the stable version of Edge which will give us the general idea. Now as many of you may know or may have noticed, Microsoft changed the order in which the mini menu options appear in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. So just to demonstrate, if we highlight and select text, in the mini menu that shows, they have now put search as the first option. And if you want to get to the other options, you need to expand that menu where you get to copy, define, and so on. Now, for most, including myself, this does not make too much sense because um, for most, if we head over and we highlight and select text, we want to copy that. Now, it seems now that Microsoft could be returning copy as the first option in the mini menu, and they are currently working on that in Edge Canary, which as mentioned, I'm not seeing in my region, but copy returning as the first option in the mini menu could be rolling out to the stable version once again in the not too distant future, which as mentioned to me just makes a lot more sense. Now with that out the way, just heading back to Edge Canary. Uh, the next new feature is that tab groups now appear in the tabs from other devices section. Now just on a side note, with this new feature, uh, it's not clear how long this feature has been around and been available. And it's not yet available to all users because like most of the new features in the preview versions, it is once again on a controlled feature rollout. Now, um, just to demonstrate, um, if we head to our history shortcut button in the toolbar, which by the way can also be activated by heading to your menu and clicking on history, you will see now in the fly out menu for history, we get all recently closed and if you click on tabs from other devices now, you also can see now your tab groups which now appear in the tabs from other devices over and above your so-called normal tabs which also appear that are open um, in your other devices if you are logged into those devices uh, in Edge using the same Microsoft account and I have got Edge Canary open up on my Windows 10 device with these tab groups open and also uh, these tabs. So. Um, tab groups now appear in the tabs from other devices and if you click on those you can actually open up those tab groups which is a nice handy feature especially if you are prone to using a lot of tab groups in the browser. So those are just two small but maybe for some users um, quite significant changes that Microsoft is busy working on in the preview versions of the Edge browser for desktop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.